What's good YouTube, it's your boy Young Twan. Welcome back to another video on my channel. So today I'm gonna be showing y'all how I made this kind of palace uh, style loop. I thought the loop could would fit uh, pretty well something palace would make. So let's get to the video. So uh, before we get started, I'm gonna let the sample play uh, in case any of y'all haven't heard it. So yeah, pretty much that's how it sounds. So uh, how I first went about uh, creating the sample, I opened up Contact and I pulled up this Hybrid Keys, Haunting Score preset in Hybrid Keys. And uh, I went and laid down uh, these uh, very repetitive um, chords. And uh, yeah, so here it sounds. So the chords here are very simple, it's a 1-5 chord progression and uh, yeah as you can see it's the same two chords and then uh, the same chords right here. And then I added these uh, top, top kind of notes right here and uh, added these like little passing notes. So that's how it is without the effects. Now with the effects I added an EQ to cut these frequencies that I wanted to get rid of and also the bottom, the low frequencies I wanted to kind of get out. And I added a half time with a one bar loop. And this is what it is with the effects now. So yeah. Uh, and then I opened up another instance of contact. And this time I went in, uh, I picked the Canada Highway preset again in the hybrid keys library. Um, and so yeah, without the effects, this is how this one sounds. So yes, same chords and same kind of like top line melodies, but uh, for this uh, pattern, I added a mini top line, as you can see right here. Like that, uh, I thought it fit well. You know what Palace uh, does uh, in some of his samples, and for this, I uh, also took a. I also picked a EQ just to clean it up a little more, and uh, yeah, with the effects, that's what it sounds like. I had a halftime pulled up, uh, but I decided to turn it off in the end. Uh, so yeah. Next up, I uh, opened up this um, VST called Cloud Drum, uh, APC Cloud Drum. And so uh, with this one, I um, yeah, I just laid the same top line that I had right here. I copied and pasted it right here and this is what it sounds like. That's without the effects. Uh, I added a EQ again to cut this frequency out I didn't want and then clean it up a little more, take out some of the highs and some of the lows. Uh, I added a Valhalla Vintage Verb um, with the default presets. I just took down the mix and uh, some of the low cuts and high cuts. And then I added a crystallizer with the original crystals uh, preset. And uh, yeah, this is what it sounds like with the effects. So yeah, now I have uh, these two melodies right here that could be one section. Then I could add this little uh, top line melody, the cloud drum, 
that can be for another part and i thought i needed like a a, a final uh top line um just to have like a third part you know uh, so i opened up onosphere and i picked uh this uh flute uh, I wanted it to, usually I'd pick a more um, realistic type of flute, uh, but for this one I wanted it to sound kind of like digital, uh, kind of. So I, I knew there was this flute in Omnisphere called the Dreamy Flute. I think it's in a Omnisphere bank, I'm not sure if, uh, by who. And uh, I uh, pretty much played this uh, top line. That's without the effects, with the effects. It's a uh, another EQ, cut the lows out, and this frequency that was very harsh. And a Valhalla Vintage Verb, uh, again, turn down the mix and the low cut and the high cut. Uh, actually, a good tip um, with the EQ, if you hear it without the EQ, you hear there's like a frequency that's very, you know what I mean? This one, right here. So if I pull it up, you hear like how it like distorts in your in your uh, in your ear and it hurts your ear. Well, with this EQ, it's used to clean it up and yeah, pretty much. So then next up, what I did, I bounced everything out um, as an audio file and like I rearranged it that way. So I made it sound like this. I mean, uh huh. Fuck. Uh -huh. So yeah, pretty much. Um, I didn't route any of this to mix of tracks or whatever. Uh, did I? No, okay. And then I bounced it out so that I had the master right here and I routed, this is like the final loop and I uh, routed it to track number six. And now in track number six, this is where I added some effects. I added a good Hertz Wolf compressor. This was used to kind of like glue the whole sample together um you know and uh add some uh, some compression to make it a bit louder i added a little radiator to saturate it a bit and uh yeah it's like a preamp uh isotope vinyl to have a tiny bit of detune and also isotope vinyl has this cool feature called where it kind of like just ducks some of the top frequencies down then i went in waves and i opened up a uh, what's this called the abbey road vinyl and uh, uh, yeah, pretty much I opened it up. I don't think I used a preset. Oh yeah, I used a preset, the Lacquer DJ MC. And then uh, another parametric EQ to cut some of the lows out. And uh, so it sounds like this without the effects. With the effects. So yeah, the effects don't do a crazy difference, but it's definitely, you can definitely tell uh, the difference. Uh, and then I bounced it out again, so I didn't have to deal with these, uh, these effects right here. And then uh, with this now, I uh, pulled it up into Edison and uh, I decreased the sample rate to 22K Hertz. And uh, just to kind of, you know, give it more some of that, um, uh, vintage feel. If you don't know how to uh, uh, decrease or increase the sample rate, you pretty much go right here. You have your sample right here, and then you want to right click in the waveform, edit in audio editor, and you want to click right click on this sample rate thing, and you're gonna have it like that. And uh, you need to press resample, and then you can pick right here. Uh, uh, pre-selected sample rate or you can just type in like whatever sample rate you want to put and then you want to do accept and uh, you're, you're gonna be able to hear it um, what it sounds like with a lower sample rate right here and then I finally bounced it out and boom I have my sample right here and I exported it and uh, and yeah pretty much that's how uh, that's how I went about and uh, made um, this loop so yeah, thank you very much for watching. Uh, I hope you guys could learn one or two things from it and uh, you know, you'll be able to uh, use some of these tips in your next uh, samples. Uh, as always, uh, subscribe, subscribe to the channel, like the video, share it with your friends, follow me on Instagram and uh, let me know in the comments what you want me to do next.
uh, what type of tutorials you want to see next. Um, and yeah, peace out.